Yeah, you have to use all the chairs, even the ones where you can't see us because you're behind a post. <laughs> we were attempting to video this, we might put it on YouTube. Won't you feel bad for wasting your precious PAX time on something you could have seen on YouTube? But they don't get what we never put on YouTube is that 10 minutes before we spoke, 8 minutes before we start legit. Yeah, you won't see this on YouTube. The dancing is never on. Though we had an outtake, we were in Anime Boston, in Boston, doing a lecture where we judged an entire season of anime, we reviewed it before it came out. Just by being jerks and guessing about how bad these shows were going to be. And I had the camera going, and the camera picked up someone in the audience saying something really stupid. So we uploaded that. <laughs> the guy was basically like, I don't know, I get into these new shows, but then they get really popular and I lose interest. Really? Someone else watching it made it bad? Game of Thrones must be awful. Yeah. So by that logic, if, like, if Rooster Teeth is starting to fill up the panel room, the people in the front have to start leaving because it's too popular. <laughs> I guess I hipsters aren't just in New York. There's in Seattle. Dude, there are definitely hipsters here because I've seen so many single gear bicycles around Melbourne. Uh, it's Melbourne. It's just central. Melbourne. Wait, no, no, wait. I should say it like an American. Melbourne. Listen, if you guys don't want to say the R, just don't write the R there. It's that simple. You mean like save you a lot of effort in writing too and typing. So like that, the key right the key. like that G H in thought is it thoughts? <laughs> you can just replace it with a reload key because that's the only thing time you're gonna use it when you reload weapons. I mean, is it geek niggets? Geek niggets? There we go. Yeah, it's gonna fill up. We filled it up. All right. These people are desperate for packs. They even come to this panel. Well, this is the first one ever here. They're acting like it's the first packs ever. Yeah. So Us in our jaded ways. How many of you have ever been to a PAX before? Ever. They're oh, still talking. One guy back there. Oh, there is this. Okay, really, none of them have ever been to a PAX before. Wow. So they don't know what to expect. Uh, is, does anyone have an empty seat next to them? Raise your hand. There's an empty seat in the back there. So you can let one person in. Oh, and there's one over here, sort of in the front behind the post. <laughs> yeah, the, the uh, partial view. Hey, listen, don't diss Partial View. I saw Book of Mormon Partial View. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> we still got six minutes before we start the gym. All right. So yeah, a little bit of story time. We got six minutes. This is not the panel yet. So basically, we flew here from New York, where everyone's jerks, apparently. Especially us. <laughs> We've been to every pack since 08. And we've lectured every one of them, and when they told us, hey, there's going to be a PAX in Australia, we were like, maybe we should go to that one. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I almost didn't go. Almost. I would have been here all by myself. It would have been double awkward. Yeah, but then he was like, I'm going. I was like, yeah, I'm going too. I haven't told here. my boss yet. Unlikely that we will return next year unless you guys want to give us like $5,000. <laughs> no, watch. Next year they'll tickets. move it to like the bigger convention center. It'll be crazy. The guests will be... Who, what guests Probably, but I'm still not going to pay $4,000 in airplane tickets. But yeah, none of you have ever been to a PAX uh, Okay, so are we full? Are we 100% full now? Yes, we still have four minutes to uh, bullshit before... Okay. Good times. Good times. Good times. Uh, does anyone know who we are? Or are we just like two random schmucks? Oh, yeah. Oh, some people know who we are. All right. It That's what so I like weird. to see. I like to see no one knowing who we are. Doing a show like this, it's kind of like when we're in New York, like we expect a lot of people we know to show up to things. In Seattle, less so, but people still show up. But when we're in Australia, I did not expect to run into so many people where I know who they are, and I know how, about how half of them are. Yeah, it's like, usually I'll walk around a PAX, and it's like, hey, Scott, hey, Scott, what's going on? I'm like, hey, person whose face I recognize, hey, other person whose face I recognize from, like, the last PAX, what's going on? Here, I was like, yeah, I already know, only know, like, four people who are going to be here, and that's it. And it's just like, I walked out, and it's like, hey, Scott, I know you. I'm like, oh, my God, We still got four on? minutes, so this is not the panel again. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't leave. Yeah. If you're really bored, I mean, you probably should leave and go to Tabletop or something. Um... I'm not even joking about that. Like, don't waste. You have only so many PAX minutes, and like, you guys, for you, PAX is even rarer stuff. It's like I can just go to another PAX in a month. Uh, which in fact, I will, we got to start. I will be at another PAX in a month, but you won't be. We got to so, start writing a lecture for that one. If you, I'm serious. If you feel like you're wasting your time in here, just walk out and go somewhere else and have fun, and let someone else come in here. Um, yeah. Now I'll warn you now. We, we will not be interrupted or insulted or whatever. 
Now, we will not be have time to take questions at the end of this. So if On you, purpose? If you have questions, one, we'll have some business cards up here you can grab. I wasn't going to fly here from New York with flyers. And two, if you email they don't like, us... They don't like bringing advertising materials to customs for some reason. Yeah, well, I got the business visa, whatever, at least. You yeah, I didn't have a tourist visa. Yeah, that's... that's uh, I'll get in trouble. We're speaking here. Technically, that's against the I'm not getting paid for this. And it's also... It's a hobby. <laughs> I'm like a web developer. <laughs> We still got three minutes. We got to kill time before the real events. And you work on Wall Street, right? If we worked for like a game company, this would count as a business trip, right? But we don't. So yeah, we're just two dumb guys. See, my guys have not realized, but in uh, America, PC gaming was kind of dead for a long time. It's only recently coming back. And we heard Australia was the land of PC games. Apparently, we're right. So far, everyone we have met were like, "What's your game?" And they were either like Counter Strike, Starcraft. PC game. They're like consoles. Yeah, that's for babies. In America, people are like the opposite. Pretty much. It's sad time. Two minutes ago. Steam sa the Steam sale brings the world together, really. In fact, wait. I got messed up because in New York, it folds over at 1 p.m. And yesterday, the security guard over there at the front gate was actually a huge gamer. I talked to him last night. He actually said, yeah, watch out. It changes over at 3 a.m. I'm like, oh, good God. <laughs> Save me. I wasn't, you know, uselessly checking at 1 p.m. Like, it's the same stuff. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, 25 hours of flying. We got here yesterday morning. Yeah. yeah. Who here has flown to the U.S.? That's an Australian. Okay. All right. All right. So, all right. All right. Yeah. I've never flown that far before. I flew to Israel. It's not that, that far. Your people apparently are a people of taking meat and wrapping it in pastry, and I approve of this highly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a people of breakfast, though. I was born in Detroit. I grew up in Michigan. Now I live in New York. In Michigan, we have a weird food called a pasty. No one in America knows about this thing, except I've seen them in like three delis here. We still got a minute and 40 seconds before we start. Take a little picture of the audience. <laughs> Turn off my GoPro. So how many of you went to the keynote? You made okay, the right everyone choice. who did not raise your hand, that was a mistake. Every PAX go to the keynote. That is kind of the opening ceremonies of the convention. It goes right into the Gabe and Tycho Q&A, which is not what you think it is. It's not just people asking boring questions. It's 1 o'clock. Oh, time to start. <laughs> Except it says we have 25 for 3 seconds here. Not my iPhone. <laughs> which isn't getting 4G. Curse you. Optus. Optus. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have gotten Telstra? Yes! yes. Okay. You know, Optus was at the airport. I, wanted, know, I needed the internet right away. You had to find a place with AT&T and Verizon in the States. All right, next time I come here in 20 years, I'll get Telstra. All right, ready? Time to do yeah, this. Yeah, we're good. Now we're going to start for real. For real. I'm Rim. I'm Scott. We're the host of Geek Nights, a radio show about nerdery. You can check it out all there. If you enjoy the next hour or so and you like it, go to that website. The last, I don't know, thousand episodes of our show that are basically just like this are on the internet. Tons of videos of lectures from other PAXs. Uh, I think 15 of our PAX lectures since 08 are online. Yeah, I mean, if you don't go check us out on the internet, you're probably never going to see or hear from us again. So <laughs> that's the website to go to. We're here today because Australia, you know. We